Day 36 of Vlen. Today we are going through journal entries 1,590 to 1,638 in the Diary of St. Faustina. My son is very excited about this. All right, so there are two main concepts that I wanna discuss for today's video. And they are this idea of needing to be fed before we can feed other people and then also not getting hung up on the vessel. In entry 1595, St. Faustina writes that, uh, she says, I know that in order to be useful to souls, one has to strive for the closest possible union with you who are eternal love. One word from a soul united with God affects more good in souls than eloquent discussions and sermons from an imperfect soul. And I'm sure that statement could be taken in multiple different ways, but it reminded me of the importance of feeding yourself before you can go out and serve others. Not only just having a YouTube channel, but in today's world where I have a cell phone, I have access to the internet whenever I want, however I want, and even though I'm looking at a lot of really good things, I try to be pretty cautious about the content that I'm consuming. I like to find good podcasts, good YouTube channels, stuff like that. Not just Catholic content, but other things that I'm interested in as well. And there are so many different things that we can learn, and I try to really take advantage of that gift. But as we all know, it can be very easy to become distracted with so many great options. So I've been trying to keep this constant balance, and it's hard, sometimes I'm not perfect with it. Most of the time, I feel like one outweighs the other, but when I get to that point where I feel like one outweighs the other, I'll adjust, but there's this balance of consuming content and then creating content. And you don't necessarily have to have your own YouTube channel or your own blog or social media digital type of outlet for that creativity. It could be your artwork or your business or whatever it is the thing that you do. But ideally the goal is to have this great balance of the two. Uh, the content you're consuming and the content that you're pouring out and creating and bringing to the world. I think that there can be a temptation to sit in our rooms or stay in our homes and absorb all of this information, but it's great if you are learning some things about your faith, go out and get involved in some sort of ministry at your parish and that way you can share some of the things that you learned. And then, you know, when you feel like you've been sharing a lot, maybe lean a little bit heavier on learning some more because we can always learn, we can always grow, but we can always give. So it's just achieving that balance as with all things in life. The second thing that I thought was important to note was this concept of paying too much attention to the vessel. So in 1599, Jesus in a vision says to St. Faustina, my daughter, do not pay so much attention to the vessel of grace as to the grace itself which I give you because you are not always pleased with the vessel, and then graces too become deficient. Let all the attention of your soul be concentrated on responding to my grace as faithfully as possible. That to me is a reminder, not only not to get hung up on the little details, but to just focus on Christ, but in addition to that, when there are people in our churches, specifically that's what I'm thinking of, that we don't really like, we don't take to that well, don't do the right thing. I think we can feel very discouraged from that. But at the end of the day, we go to Mass for Christ, for the Eucharist. That's the thing. No church is going to be perfect. However, I would argue a few churches that are pretty close. But, and I love my priest and some other priests that I know, so I've had a very good experience with some people around me in my area, but I realize not everybody is blessed to have that. And especially when I've traveled, um, actually I've traveled to some places with incredible priests and vibrant parish communities. Some places, you know, you do see differences, but that's why we go there, not for the people, not for the vessel. We go to grow in our relationship with Christ and have that authentic relationship with him that can be found in his real presence in the Eucharist. So I thought that was an excellent reminder and something for all of us to keep in mind, not to focus too much on the vessel or the way 
that God is showing his grace, but just the fact that he shows it to us in different ways. Those are the thoughts for this reflection. I hope this gave you some things to think about too. And in the comments, if you have any good ways that you feed yourself, whether that is a podcast you listen to or YouTubers that you watch, and they don't have to be just Catholic things. It could be a hobby that you have, something like that. I would love to hear that. And then if you have a way that you in turn feed others and give of your gifts to those around you, I would love to hear that too. So feel free to leave a comment about that below and I wish you all a wonderful day. God bless. Bye.